na wazazi yeah. wawe wana pop in yeah. into these hostels yeah. hey. The parents should be coming once in a while. <laughs> so, there are many reasons why people cohabit. One of them is reducing expenses. Yeah, we'll be back to talk more about it. <laughs> talk about that in skills and skills and buy. We are talking mm. about cohabitation msikilizaji. Mm. Na naona ndugu yangu wa Sheila na ana smile. <laughs> <laughs> Kama tumekulenga pole. <laughs> Tunaongea about cohabitation <laughs> and how it hinders uh, um, academic progression mm-hmm. or academic uh, progress. Yeah. Because uh, especially among the university students, mm-hmm. among the youth mm-hmm. who are learning, mm-hmm. who are still you know in school, mm-hmm. who are still in college. Mm-hmm. Uh, if they go through uh, or if they 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 do uh, cohabitation mm-hmm. or, or if they cohabit mm-hmm. if they cohabit mm-hmm. what are some of the things that actually will hinder their career uh, progression mm-hmm. so that is what we are talking about and uh, that's why you are saying nimekuja kama mzazi because mm-hmm. we parents yeah. we don't like imagining mm-hmm. that our our youth mm-hmm. our children mm-hmm. that we haven't given officially well, well, are still... living with somebody <laughs> else <laughs> <laughs> they are living with somebody or they are they are they are staying with someone you mm-hmm. know um as a man and a woman as a husband and a wife without us giving them the uh, our blessing so mm-hmm. normally parents don't imagine that that can happen mm-hmm. so what is cohabitation cohabitation is basically come we stay mm-hmm. that is what cohabitation is all mm-hmm. about mm-hmm. that we are staying together mm-hmm. that we are living together mm-hmm. that we are sharing probably uh, living Uh, uh, living space, maybe mm-hmm. the house and so on, that um, you, we are probably sharing some cost, you know, you pay the rent, mm-hmm. I buy the food, yeah. or mm-hmm. you, you bring bread, I bring tea, mm-hmm. and so on. So cohabitation is generally living together as a man mm-hmm. and a woman, a husband mm-hmm. and a wife mm-hmm. without official um, without official officially mm-hmm. being allowed to do so, mm-hmm. or without doing it in an official way, mm-hmm. so you are there living together, and you are a student, mm-hmm. and we are saying this one hinders career mm-hmm. development it hinders career development in many many mm-hmm. in many ways that's why i want us to talk about cohabitation we are here to talk have about have you seen it, it around uh, and and you don't camp- want to say and maybe the conflict <laughs> is here <laughs> i hope not i hope not yeah. and that from today when we talk about it yeah. then we will be able to make a mm-hmm. decision mm-hmm. now cohabitation is very common in the universities mm-hmm. or in colleges and parents really need to know this that it is quite common in colleges mm-hmm. cohabitation also is co- is common in some countries mm-hmm. and some country, countries it is allowed mm-hmm. and there are even rules uh, you know to guide the cohabitation mm-hmm. and so on there are that kind of thing but in Kenya mm-hmm. uh, it is not allowed in mm-hmm. Kenya it is not allowed yeah. and um, uh, uh, unless you are under 18 mm-hmm. they may not really come for you if you are above 18 and you are cohabiting mm-hmm. they may not really come for you but again we are looking at it and saying are we really leading the christian values are we leading the african values are we leading the muslim values what values are we living what values are we having because cohabitation is not according to the christian principles cohabitation is not according to the islamic religion cohabitation is not according to the christian um, according to the african uh, traditional society it is not actually basically allowed so when the the, the students are cohabiting yeah what values are they having what values are they having now maybe you tell me why do people cohabit kwa sababu madam jays eh unaleta msichana kwako anakusaidia kama ni kusoma unatafuta mtu mwenye mnafanya course moja na yeye so atakuwa anakusaidia you revise together kama kuna concept ambayo wewe hujaweza kuielewa anakusaidia kuielewa na mwe saidiana pale kwa library amwesaidiana pale kwa nini usi kuongea huko kitu kenda huko unambi unyamaze haya hiyo ni sababu ya ya ya, ya James uh-huh. uh, reasons why people cohabit uh-huh. na wewe uh, chacha why uh-huh. do people cohabit uh, people have different reasons to uh-huh. cohabit my uh-huh. days uh-huh. uh-huh. uh, i'm not a culprit but uh-huh. i have culprit uh-huh. uh-huh. what what is the reason <laughs> what reason do they give uh, for cohabiting the, the number of reasons uh-huh. 
and I believe after this conversation mm. they'll have an answer. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yes. Some feel, yeah. some, some people feel, some students feel this is a way of self control. Okay. You know, there are some issues when we avoid mm-hmm. them, mm-hmm. we view them in a, a shallow angle. Mm-hmm. Uh, we might not arrive at what we want to, uh, to achieve, what we want okay. to arrive. Yes. There are things that happen, uh-huh. multiple partners. Mm-hmm. Uh, as one way of, uh, no, no, uh-huh. whether you understand, but uh-huh. anyway, that is it. <laughs> <laughs> So you are you are you are keeping this on una mark your boundary and therefore you keep this person in your exactly in your room. Uh, mm-hmm. We we are tending to be holy, but mm-hmm. this is the fact. Uh-huh. Uh, not any of us, mm-hmm. but maybe this is the fact. <laughs> yes. Uh, so mm-hmm. there are many reasons why mm-hmm. people cohabit. Mm-hmm. One of them is reducing yeah, expenses. We'll be back to talk more about <laughs> talk about that in skills and skills and but I want to know the reasons mm-hmm. why people why? cohabit. Why do people cohabit? No, kwanza, tunanza, no. mm-hmm. We are mm-hmm. talking about cohabitation. Ndiyo. Na ni nini naweza kufanya mtu akoha? Na tumeambia madam, mm-hmm. tukamwambia kwamba hata tu wewe tunaogopa. Unajua mm-hmm. uwezi wa mtu ndugu yangu mtu mwenye baya humjui. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo kwa university ni vyema ukitoka hapa university uko graduate tunatoka pia na bibi. Uh-huh. So and that is one of the reasons. Oh, okay, that is one of the reasons. You, eh? you are cohabiting yeah. so that you can marry later mm-hmm. or you can you can offici- officially marry no, yeah. after some time. There are some characters mm-hmm. you will never realize until mm-hmm. you until you live together. What of if you re- you realize there are some characters you don't want and it is two years yeah. down the line. You're, you're still... It's not official. <laughs> it's not official. And that is so why you walk away. And, that yeah. is why and actually, now. that is why it is appealing to the youth. Mm-hmm. It is appealing to the youth mm-hmm. because cohabitation mm-hmm. has no commitment. Is that, is that because what? cohabitation is like having your cake and uh-huh. eating it at the same time. time. That, so <laughs> it has no commitment mm-hmm. and you don't really need to think about it much. Mm-hmm. You don't really need to think about your actions. Mm-hmm. You don't need, uh, need to be accountable. Mm-hmm. for what you are you are doing you are not accountable mm-hmm. and it's a union of convenience mm-hmm. it's a union of convenience that's why it is very appealing mm-hmm. to the youth mm-hmm. that's why it's very very appealing to the youth mm-hmm. so there are reasons why you people cohabit or why the youth cohabit uh, i would like, uh, like to know those reasons <laughs> maybe we are, or maybe they have one of them is reasons. to reduce expenses of mm-hmm. course mm-hmm. The, the way we have said mm-hmm. where someone maybe you you came from home and your parents did not give you money for accommodation mm-hmm. So where do you go? Mm-hmm. You look for a friend mm-hmm. that can accommodate you. Mm-hmm. And in most cases, maybe not, uh, they, they, you look for a, a, opposite, a, 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 yeah, opposite mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. someone who is your girlfriend or mm-hmm. someone whom you, you know each mm-hmm. other. So you, you go there and you start living together. Mm-hmm. That's one reason yeah. to reduce the, the expenses. Mm-hmm. Another thing is to keep an eye on each other. Like mm-hmm. the way you said mm-hmm. that uh, you want to keep this person here so <laughs> that you can watch them, you can be with them throughout, <laughs> and you can Need actually mark you mark your boundary yeah. yeah you mark your boundary everybody knows <laughs> yule anatokanga kwa room ya fulani it's <laughs> a no go zone it's a no go zone exactly uh, to marry her later mm-hmm. just the way you have said mm-hmm. probably you are living together so that you can be able to marry uh, her later mm-hmm. and so on so the, these are some of the reasons why people mm-hmm. actually cohabit mm-hmm. but we want to look at it as uh, negative effects mm-hmm. of um, cohabiting mm-hmm. especially on a academics exactly on academics, as much as we have given all those reasons, mm-hmm. people do it because it has no commitment. You can cohabit for one semester, you next semester you cohabit with another one. After mm-hmm. a year, you cohabit with another one. Exactly. There are a number of effects that come mm-hmm. um, because of that. Mm-hmm. There are a number of effects that come because of that that uh, hinder career progression, mm-hmm. that hinder academic progression, and that's why we are calling the youth to think about this cohabitation and to try as much as possible not to cohabit. Mm-hmm. to live in their own separate rooms mm-hmm. even though they are relating mm-hmm. uh, to have trust because even when you are talking about you are marking your boundary and you really want to be watching this person that means you really don't have trust you can still be friends and you can still have a girlfriend or a boyfriend and they still live in their own different hostels and you are still good because you trust each other and you are committed to the relationship so one of the effects is um 
it actually uh, wastes a lot of uh, time yeah. for both of them. Mm -hmm. the, the the lady is doing the wifely duties. Yeah. The gentleman is doing the manly duties. I don't know the manly duties in terms of when we are in hostels, which you ones provide. they are, you which provide. ones are there. <laughs> you provide yeah. and therefore most of the time you are occupied um, thinking how you're going to mm -hmm. provide, provide yeah. possibly that mm -hmm. but the, the lady may be doing cleaning the lady may be doing washing the lady may be you know um doing a number of things including giving sex you yeah. know yeah. and so on the boy the same mm -hmm. is probably providing mm -hmm. for the for that particular uh, family he's providing now for that particular lady mm -hmm. paying maybe the rent you know making sure there is food on the <laughs> table and so on he's actually hustling mm -hmm. in his mind Mm -hmm. either hustling the parents mm -hmm. to give him money mm -hmm. or maybe even hustling around, mm -hmm. you know, doing some uh, jobs here and there. Uh, we know there are people that do uh, some hassles. Yeah. You've told me about your hustle, exactly. you know, so uh, you're doing hustle so that you can be able to provide, mm -hmm. meaning you're not concentrating on your studies. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the effects of um, cohabitation. Mm -hmm. Another one is financial constraints yeah. because now one person really spends a lot mm -hmm. on that particular uh, relationship. Mm -hmm. So again, there is financial constraints. Constraint. We also have relationship conflicts. Mm -hmm. Relationship conflicts come also because of familiarity. Familiarity brings contempt. Mm -hmm. You are here, we are not married and this is what you are doing. What is this? You know? And, and they are, hey, what yeah. is the, what, what of you we marry? Mm -hmm. So there are conflicts in that particular relationship. Mm -hmm. And definitely if you have a conflict with someone in the morning as you are going to class, yeah. will you concentrate in also, that class? No. Definitely no, mm -hmm. you will not concentrate in that class. Mm -hmm. Have you hindered your, your academic program? progression yeah. yes you have hindered your academic mm -hmm. progression so relationship conflicts lack of freedom to study you know mm -hmm. lack of freedom to study in the sense that you you can't just do anything that you feel like doing in terms of your studies mm -hmm. for instance those who read early in the morning yeah. you can't wake up at four and start reading mm -hmm. switch off that light because i want to do what sure. to sleep so you have no freedom mm -hmm. to do your own personal personal study you have no freedom even to go for um discussion groups uh, wherever you desire to go with whoever you desire to go you have no freedom even to go to the library and spend your time in the library so there is also that other than that there are other things that come like unwanted pregnancy you know if you are doing wifely duties manly duties and part of those duties include sex chances are the, the lady may become pregnant. Yeah. So there is unwanted pregnancy. Tell me, mm -hmm. this person who has unwanted pregnancy, are they concentrating in class? Mm -hmm. Are they at peace even emotionally? Mm -hmm. Are they at peace even emotionally? Mm -hmm. They are not at peace emotionally. They are confused. They are disoriented. They don't know what to do mm -hmm. with the unwanted pregnancy. Some of them go through and carry the baby to term and give birth, mm -hmm. which also adds other responsibilities. Mm -hmm. You are in class. Your baby is in the hostel, you know? Mm -hmm. You are in class, you need to breastfeed. You are in class, you need to look for someone to take care of your baby. Mm -hmm. Has that hindered career development? Definitely. Has that hindered yes. academic progression? Mm -hmm. Definitely it has hindered academic progression. Mm -hmm. In case of uh, uh, this unwanted pregnancy, and both of you decide, now we don't want this baby. We want to abort this baby. Look at that effect. Mm -hmm. Look at the effects of that, uh, having uh, to go for abortion. So uh, those are some of the challenges that are there. And that's why we are calling the youth. We are calling university students, college students. Please delay this living together. Mm -hmm. Delay this living together, cohabiting, if you are not ready for the responsibility. Then we also have um, things like, uh, now... Uh, you, you don't have a receipt. Me, I have a receipt and we have been living in the same house. How are we sharing this information? Do you even share the information? I want you to think about it. Woman Kijana ukona soup. Your girlfriend does not have a soup. And probably you are in the same class. How do you share this information? How does that make you feel? Very guilty. How does that make you feel? You are living with someone here. You are attending the same classes. Yeah, akona A. Ukona F. Ukona F. Actually, you, you actually even some people don't even uh, reveal that information. Mm -hmm. Some people don't even reveal that that information. Mm -hmm. Actually, there are even relationships that break because you you are excelling mm -hmm. and me I'm not excelling, yeah. and we are in this same Class. relationship. So it actually even starts bringing a lot of conflicts, low self-esteem, mm -hmm. feeling of uh, you, you know, and even can bring a lot of friction in that. So again, those are some of the things that we are telling the the, the youth. Kindly wait. 
delay gratification mm -hmm. delay gratification mm -hmm. nobody is telling you you will not marry mm -hmm. nobody is telling you you will not be able to have your own wife or your own mm -hmm. husband at the time when you need it but delay this gratification mm -hmm. because it hinders and interferes with your academic progression mm -hmm. and your career progression mm -hmm. that is what we are telling the youth that's cohabitation that's is cohabitation that yes ah, is there at any point madam yes yes because if anything bad is good, <laughs> then the good is bad. <laughs> now you can tell me whether it has advantages. Do you think it has an advantages? I'm not really sure uh, because I have a question here, mm -hmm. uh, and the same question I think we posed it to yes, you yes. on uh, knowing each other. Yes, and maybe we are taking it too far that mm -hmm. the only way to know a person is living together. Is living together, mm -hmm. and I think that is that is what uh, uh, the youth probably think that is knowing uh, each other. Mm -hmm. Knowing each other is uh, living. Uh, together mm -hmm. but i want to ask this mm -hmm. when you are living together you are communicating that you are already taken mm -hmm. or you have taken mm -hmm. you are already taken or taken you have already. taken already <laughs> so you you are removed from the class of uh, uh, looking mm -hmm. you actually removed from that class of looking because exactly. you have already taken or you are already <laughs> <laughs> so now uh, now now chacha okay you you've lived together yeah. and then you have you have uh, discovered that you are not uh, compatible mm -hmm. how does the ending go how does the ending go then what is the communication outside there to say now niko free sasa you know nilikuwa nimekuwa no now i'm free again to try another to try another person are you seeing the technicalities there they don't really work well mm -hmm. this is not a car this is not a phone mm -hmm. this is not something that you need to test and then give it back to the person can you imagine testing and then giving it back to you know to the person mm -hmm. this is not this is a human being mm -hmm. human beings with emotions mm -hmm. human beings with feelings human beings with attachment yeah. human beings with negative things that can come as a result just mm -hmm. the way i've talked about abortion i've talked about pregnancy mm -hmm. and so on uh, this is this is a human being it mm -hmm. is not an item mm -hmm. that you can be given to test for one month mm -hmm. and then return mm -hmm. and also things of value you don't test like that mm -hmm. i gave you an example even of a car mm -hmm. there is nobody who will give you their car and tell you go and have it for one week two weeks one month mm -hmm. then ukiona si mzuri unirudishi do people give cars like that no, no. you buy your car you move it it from the yard mm -hmm. and you continue with it mm -hmm. but you cannot say give me for one month i go testing give, give me for one year i go testing why do we want to test with human emotions mm -hmm. why do we want to test with human feelings mm -hmm. why do we want to test with people's dignity mm -hmm. why do we want to test with human beings uh, dignity mm -hmm. so this idea of i want to know someone mm -hmm. please know them by having supper together, mm -hmm. let them go. Know them by attending classes together. They are, they are know that. them yeah. by uh, talking to them. Mm -hmm. Know them by going shopping together. You'll be able to know someone yeah. by going shopping together. Mm -hmm. Know them by sitting somewhere in a park and watching the birds of the air. Yeah. Know yeah. them, you know. <laughs> <laughs> know them by <laughs> know them by doing all mm -hmm. those things, yeah. but not by living together to test each other because mm -hmm. they effects mm -hmm. of this testing each other mm -hmm. are so so huge mm -hmm. and actually someone may not really go back to normal mm -hmm. when that has happened James Washira. Madam James Mugoi Yes umesema vizuri sana kuongea kuhusu jinsi ambavyo wanafunzi wa university tunakaa pamoja yes. na lazima tuongee kuhusu wazazi yes. wazazi ambao unafaa ku report kwa wao ili iko official uh -huh. how should they react <laughs> <laughs> Wakati nenda kuambia mzazi yeye uh -huh. kwamba uh -huh. I've taken your girl by the I'm way, still a student by the way uh, 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 James uh -huh. eh? actually the there the are students mm -hmm. in the university that are married yeah. and that one we applaud them let them live together mm -hmm. actually that one we encourage them to live mm -hmm. together yeah. because there are students that even report to the university when they are already married yeah. if you report mm -hmm. to the university and you are already married yes well, they are there they are there even here yeah. even here. let me tell you i have yeah. met i have met students that have been mm -hmm. brought by their husbands uh, yeah. yes right. by their husbands and no, they introduce they, they are student they, husbands they are, they, they, yes yani student yeah. amekuja na bwanake yeah. amekuja ku report yeah. na ameletwa na nani na bwanake na huyu bwanake ni mwanafunzi hapo anaweza kuwa mwanafunzi ama anaweza kuwa si mwanafunzi there are all those scenarios so if the students have married by all means let them live together mm -hmm. if the student are not they are not married mm -hmm. but um, 
in the course of studying yeah. in the course of studying yeah. first year mm-hmm. second year unaona hapana yeah. huyu lazima nifanye nini yeah, yeah. ni oe yeah. lazima ni oe yeah. uh, when you go to tell the parents mm-hmm. what, how should the parents take it that's yeah. what you are yeah. you are asking how should the parents okay. take it mm-hmm. now it depends on how you approach the parents mm-hmm. and how you communicate to them mm-hmm. that you want to marry because marrying has responsibilities yeah. marrying has responsibility exactly. one of them is taking care of your wife yeah. or taking care of your husband mm-hmm. if that one also uh, happens yes, taking care of your wife taking care of your exactly. husband so you as a gentleman you mm-hmm. as a as a as a as a guy mm-hmm. if you are you are going to your parents and telling them i want to marry i mean second year but i've decided mm-hmm. i want to marry this lady mm-hmm. Maybe the, your parents' concern would be, mm-hmm. are you able to take care of ah. her? Mm-hmm. Because the parents may say no, because they are thinking, you are telling them, now, yeah. start taking care of my wife. Mm-hmm. Because you yourself mm-hmm. are being taken care of. Mm-hmm. But if you have some kind of income, mm-hmm. if you are able to take care of your wife, mm-hmm. your, your parents should actually applaud that. Mm-hmm. Because you have gone in, you know, broad daylight and said, this is my girlfriend and I would like to... I would like to marry her. Let there be some form of commitment before you start living together. Mm-hmm. Know your know the parents. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Know the, the the lady's parents. Mm-hmm. Let the lady's parents know you are home. Let the parents know that you are living together. Mm-hmm. But this idea of knowing someone by just one name, mm-hmm. anaitwa Brayo. Mm-hmm. Kwao ni wapi? Mm-hmm. Aliniambia anatoka mm-hmm. Nairobi. Mm-hmm. Pande gani ya Nairobi you don't even know mm-hmm. where they come from and you are living together. You are cohabiting, you are living together. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm living with Stacy. Mm-hmm. Where does Stacy come from? Mm-hmm. Uh, anaishi anatoka na uko Ngong. Mm-hmm. Where specifically? You don't even know. Which school did she go? You don't even know. You, which secondary school? You don't even know where these people, uh, uh, you know, they, they, they went to school. But you are living together. together. Uh, maybe that is uh, now you went there for uh, another reason. Maybe in Jap, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in Jap, yes. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 Actually, uh, uh, Chacha, mm. what we are telling the youth is uh, mm. nobody is stopping you from mm. marrying. Mm. Nobody is stopping you from enjoying life mm. at the right time. time. We are just asking you to delay gratification. Mm. Look at the students that you are telling me. How many students are doing KCPE mm-hmm. when they are pregnant the number is how many Almost the number is so huge so huge mm-hmm. who is preg- impregnating these people mm-hmm. is are they being impregnated by the youth mm-hmm. you know or yani age mates mm-hmm. yani age mates mm-hmm. you know ni age mate kwa age mate mm-hmm. ama ni boy child <laughs> wa 50 years <laughs> <laughs> ama kuna you know mtu mwenye ako mm-hmm. high in authority and high in power high in bargaining power mm-hmm. that is making these girls uh, pregnant mm-hmm. you know that's another thing mm-hmm. because if it is you are teacher mm-hmm. if it is someone who is old if it's a university student and you are in primary mm-hmm. you know you look at a university student with bewilderment mm-hmm. you know you are not a university mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. na fanya degree na sa ingine muna endanga uko ushago muna tesa sana muna vaa white shoes muna vaa nini you know you do so this primary girls they kana kwa mini sana hakuna kitu utasema aseme no kila kitu anasema yes kwa sababu yeah that so again we need to really find out who mm-hmm. is impregnating these girls yeah. who is impregnating these girls mm-hmm. is it their fellow youth mm-hmm. their fellow age mates mm-hmm. like now those class 8 mm-hmm. they are doing class 8 exactly. have they been impregnated by another class 8 no. or they have been impregnated by somebody who is you know, higher than higher than, mm-hmm. than them delay gratification delay gratification mm-hmm. your time will come yeah. at the right time mm-hmm. and you'll be able to enjoy life uh, you'll be able to take up all these responsibilities mm-hmm. why collapse at the weight of uh, taking care of a wife when you are in the university mm-hmm. when you should be enjoying your freedom mm-hmm. when actually you will have to take care of a wife at some point mm-hmm. Uh, why why stress yourself now mm-hmm. because actually it will come mm-hmm. it will surely come at one time one you will have to take care of a wife mm-hmm. you know why stress yourself mm-hmm. and for a lady mm-hmm. why stress yourself with all these house chores mm-hmm. you know doing all these things uh, as a, a wife, little wife, wife and yet you're not married mm-hmm. and yet there will come a time mm-hmm. when you'll actually take up these responsibilities mm-hmm. and uh, someone told me and uh, in a very crucial question asking 
that uh, uh, I'm tempted to cohabit, yes, but I don't want to. Uh-huh. And we've been dating, mm-hmm. uh, we almost moving together, mm-hmm. but I don't want it. It's too early. Mm-hmm. It is now almost uh, three to four years, mm-hmm. but I'm just going. Mm-hmm. How long should people date before they they marry together? Oh, before they live together or before they marry? Moving. <laughs> Before they, <laughs> before they before they before they cohabit internally <laughs> in eternity. <laughs> because this thing, Madam Ms. Mugoy, I have realized mm-hmm. it is not happening among students only. Yes, Even I know. It's, at forty years, yes, 30 yes, years, yes. That is that is very true. That, that, that is very is true. That yeah. is very true. Mm-hmm. It's not only among the youth. Mm-hmm. It may be common among the youth, mm-hmm. but even there are people that are you know mature mm-hmm. and they are actually cohabiting. Mm-hmm. Now the effects are just the same. Mm-hmm. There is no commitment there. Mm-hmm. There is no commitment, and um, this person may you know when they want to leave, they can leave. Mm-hmm. Another thing, uh, when people cohabit. Eh, mm-hmm. Um, I don't know how how will you even be able to invest together mm-hmm. because we are not married. Mm-hmm. We are just living together. Mm-hmm. How will you be able to invest together? Mm-hmm. How will you be able to coexist in a in a way that you blend everything, it's including fine. your finances, mm-hmm. including your your plans, mm-hmm. your social gatherings, and so on? Because you are not married, mm-hmm. so it's very very important for people to do what mm-hmm. to marry officially. Mm-hmm. So how long should they stay before they start living together or mm-hmm. before they marry? It depends on someone's readiness mm-hmm. again. If you are ready after six months, mm. fine. If you are ready after a year, fine. If you are ready after three years, fine. But again, don't take it so long, long mm. until one of you becomes wary. Mm. Because definitely they will. They will. Definitely they'll get tired. Mm. They'll get tired waiting. Mm. They'll get tired of the promises. Mm. They'll get tired of all this. Mm. Because age is catching up with mm. you. You can't say you are you are you are dating someone mm-hmm. for for six years, mm-hmm. seven years, eight years. Mm-hmm. I'm, what are you doing, really? What type of dating is this? Mm-hmm. Are you fearing responsibility? Is there a problem with you that you are probably not, you know, committing and so on? Mm-hmm. So again, those are some of the things that should be looked at. So someone, um, uh, the, the people are ready at different mm-hmm. times. People are ready at different times. So people marry at different different times. You can so, date for six months, yes. one year. Whatever time. Someone has a, a child. Yes. Has a, a, a person. Mm-hmm. And they are still saying we are not yet married. Mm-hmm. Uh, we are just living together. You know, nowadays, so nowadays we also have something called co-parenting, mm-hmm. which is really catching up. Mm-hmm. And actually, Chacha, thank you for asking that question because you have reminded me of something that I was thinking as I was driving coming. Mm-hmm. Um, and nowadays, we have something called co-parenting, mm-hmm. that if your relationship is not able to work, mm-hmm. You can co-parent. The, you can decide where this child is going to be. You can have visitation rights. You can have your responsibilities outlined clearly. Who is going to do what and and what? You can be able to co-parent. Mm-hmm. There is also uh, that particular uh, issue. Mm-hmm. So the issue of having a child and you are not really married. Mm-hmm. If the relationship is not working, mm-hmm. fine, you can do what we call co-parenting. Mm-hmm. But if the relationship can be able to work, mm-hmm. then it's very important for it to mm-hmm. work. When I was driving, I was thinking this. Mm-hmm. All this mess we are in, mm-hmm. in my thinking, mm-hmm. in my thinking, yes. is brought by something called modernization. Mm-hmm. Modernization, when the colonialists came, mm-hmm. we disregarded all our cultural values. <laughs> Then we were told adopt the Christian values or adopt the Islamic values or adopt whatever values depending on on, uh, the the, the religion that you practice. Unfortunately, we are in between. We are no longer, there are people who are no longer fully Christian. They are no longer fully African. So we are we are in between here. We are, yes, mm-hmm. we are in between here. And that's where permissiveness comes in. Mm-hmm. Permissiveness is the idea of I do what pleases me mm-hmm. so long as I'm not hurting somebody mm-hmm. or I'm not hurting anybody. Mm-hmm. But if we were to practice Christian values completely, mm-hmm. 100% would not have these challenges. If we were practicing African values, 100% mm-hmm. would not be having mm-hmm. these uh, particular Challenges. So amazing. So yes. amazing. Mr. James. Yes. Mm-hmm. Me and, my friend, yes. Uh, and everybody else that is uh, listening to me. Have I changed your mind? Yeah. Or you will think about it? I think people should think. <laughs> <laughs> my camera should do <laughs> <that>. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, Madam Joyce. Yes. Is a person listening to us. Yes. He or she's already into this. Mm-hmm. Yes. 
tunavunja moyo ama tumetia moyo na okay. tusifunje Now zi. depending on why they are cohabiting. Uh-huh. Depending on why they are cohabiting. Uh-huh. We have already said uh-huh. some people cohabit to marry. Yeah. They are committed to the relationship and they are going to marry and uh-huh. if they are already in there uh-huh. we may not do much. If you haven't gotten in, mm-hmm. please don't get in mm-hmm. until all your mind, your focus, your goals and everything else is very clear in your mind why you want to cohabit mm-hmm. if you are already in. Mm-hmm. If you are in a cohabitation that you know mm-hmm. you are wasting each other, mm-hmm. please move out. Talk, talk. Just say my two, may the grace oh, of our God. Lord Jesus Christ. Now mfuambie tukue na amani kila mtu aende njia za njia za. Yes. Yes, yes. Of course I believe after this conversation mm-hmm. watu wamengamua kitu mazi wale ambao wamekitwa na kitu mm-hmm. touch of grace ke youtube mm-hmm. watapata habari kwa kina zaidi hapo mm-hmm. video iko that's why mm-hmm. madam joyce mugoi yes. your last one to students ambao wanafanya exam na how i wish there. all all the students are the best mm-hmm. those that are, that are doing kcpe mm-hmm. those that are, are doing kcse mm-hmm. and even the university students that are about to do their exams i just wish them all the best my desire is for academic progression mm-hmm. my desire is for career progression mm-hmm. and therefore the hindrances to this career progression mm-hmm. we need to address them so that there are people who listen mm-hmm. and they will be Okay. into these hostels. Uh-huh. Hey. The parents should be coming once in a while. This is this thank you very much. <laughs> we'll talk later. <laughs>